Bilge water like this accumulates in every ship. The team from Hamburg cleans the wastewater using a special extractor system. The oily water is run through a series of filters and pumps. At the end of the process, the water is clear, the oil remains in the filters. For the past 40 years, Eberhard Runge has been building oil extractors for boats. Many ships still continue to discharge untreated wastewater directly into the ocean. The Hamburg entrepreneur has a rare snapshot actually showing an environmental polluter at sea. If they have built-in devices that don't function properly, then the crew has a big problem. And that's when you get these small-scale oil spill catastrophes. But added up worldwide, the many small oil catastrophes put tens of thousands of tons of oil into the ocean. The company employs some 35 people. Until a few years ago, Runge only marketed his filter systems in Europe. But since fines for polluters on the high seas have been drastically increased, his oil extractors have been in demand around the globe. The real boom started about three years ago. My colleagues sent me off to Asia saying, boss, go and explain to the Asian dockyards that we have an oil trap that conforms to the latest test specification. And on my first trip, I managed to sell 38 devices. That was a breakthrough in Korea, China, Japan, Taiwan, all over. The oil extractors are also in demand in Germany. Like here, 200 kilometers from Hamburg, at the Meyer shipyards in Papenburg, where the cruise liner Aida is lying in dry dock. This line incorporates an oil extractor made by Runge's firm. The installation of the oil separator is being overseen by Dutch engineer Chris Snakenburg. It is built into the bottom of the boat at the deepest point where the ship's dirty, oily bilge water will collect in the future. Compared to the total cost of the ship, the 20,000 euros for the extractor are nothing. This grand ocean liner won't be seen discharging dirty water into the sea. My personal opinion is that that would be a piece of absolute cheek. Nowadays, there is so much modern technology and know-how for getting the water overboard in a clean state, so we can't get away with pumping dirty water overboard just to save money. That's just not on. Back in Hamburg, Eberhard Runge has visitors from India. The two businessmen want to sell the filter system in their country. Indian shipyards are facing tough competition from Korea and China. The Indians hope to win over clients by marketing the pollution control system. The environment is, is a global issue. It's not a country issue anymore. And I think... Um, when it's a global issue, every country has to participate. And um, that's how India, as well as well many other countries, are on the, on the same platform to, to do their best to protect the environment. Environmental protection is a promising market. Next to the old building, Runge's company has begun work on a new research center. In the future, it hopes to market the oil extractor system for offshore drilling rigs and industry.